Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 34. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. Whoso regards dreams is like him that catches at a shadow and follows after the wind. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. Of an unclean thing what can be cleansed, and from that thing which is false what truth can come. Divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain, and the heart fancies as a woman's heart in travail. If they be not sent from El Elyon in your visitation, set not your heart upon them. For dreams have deceived many, and they have failed that put their trust in them. The Torah shall be found perfect without lies, and wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. A man that has travailed, rather, traveled, knows many things, and he that has much experience will declare wisdom. He that has no experience knows little, but he that has traveled is full of prudence. When I traveled, I saw many things, and I understand more than I can express. I was oft times in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of these things. The ruach of those that fear Yahuwah shall live, for their hope is in him that saves them. Whoso fears Yahuwah shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that fears Yahuwah. To whom does he look, and who is his strength? For the eyes of Yahuwah are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling, and a help from falling. He raises up the soul, enlightens the eyes. He gives health, life, and blessing. He that sacrifices of a thing wrongly gotten, rather wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous, and the gifts of unjust men are not accepted. El Elyon is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. Neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. Whoso brings an offering of the goods of the poor does as one that kills the son before his father's eyes. The bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauds him thereof is a man of blood. He that takes away his neighbor's living slays him. And he that defrauds the laborer of his hire is a blood shedder. When one builds and another pulls down, what profit have they then but labor? When one prays and another curses, whose voice will Yahweh hear? He that washes himself after the touching of a dead body, if he touch it again, what avails his washing? So is it with a man that fasts for his sins, and goes again and does the same. Who will hear his prayer? Or what does his humbling profit him?